Hi folks, I uh, wanted to do a quick video tutorial or explanation really on um, how to quantize MIDI while you're actually recording in real time in Logic Pro 10. Uh, some of you are coming from other doors like Cubase or Pro Tools might wonder where the feature is located because it doesn't really talk about it in the manual. It talks about mostly step input recording MIDI, which is a different feature altogether. Uh, Cubase has AQ, which is auto record quantize. Pro Tools has input quantize. And Logic Pro 10 uh, quantize while recording is really done up here using the quantize in the inspector here. If you click the region disclosure triangle, you'll see quantize is off. Uh, I'm going to just demonstrate um, sort of how this works. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to use a MIDI keyboard to input some drums on this software instrument track. I've put a drummer on it, drum kit on it. And um, first of all, we'll record with the quant. What, what you need to be careful of, first of all, is uh, I'm going to create a MIDI region here and have a look at it, uh, just so we can see the quantize in the MIDI region in the piano roll. Um, there's also quantize in the score editor, but I'm not going to get into that. But we now have two quantize areas. We've got one in the inspector and one in the piano roll. You have to be careful that they're not kind of fighting against each other, uh, which they can do if you're not sort of paying too attention to what's going on. So you can see it's off here, uh, and you can see it's off up here. And uh, we're just going to record a little... I'm going to try to play a little bit out of time so that uh, we'll see that it's not quantizing as I'm recording. So let's have a look at that. We've got the region highlighted, so press P on the keyboard. It's going to show us the notes that I just recorded. And we can already see with this uh, kick drum here, it's, uh, it's quite a ways off there. So obviously it's not, we can obviously quantize that. If we click the region up here, we can do it in the, um, the track view. Uh, we can just select quantize and uh, probably best to go with like 16th notes. We could do it up here. Or we can go to the piano roll uh, if I want to select one note or all of them. Uh, if I want to select all the notes, just press Command-A and you'll see they're all selected here. I zoom in a bit so we can sort of see what happens as we do it. So we could simply obviously connect, uh, select 16th notes here. Now it's going to put them exactly on the grid or it'll move the note to the closest 16th note so it might you still have to check it, you know, and make sure it's in the right place. Because if your playing's really bad, it might shift it to the 16th note uh, after or before, which you might have to move it. So we can quantize it there, obviously. Uh, I'm going to switch that off and exit the piano roll with the P key. Uh, we can also uh, select a region, of course, and just select 16th notes. If you look at the region really closely and watch, look at the little white notes, you probably see them move which they did there, so they can do that. Um, but if you want to record, you know, in Quantize as you're recording, the best place, well, the, the place to do it is up here. So I'm going to select 16th notes before I record, and I'll just do a similar kind of th recording again. Here we go. Region's highlighted, so we'll press P and have a look at the piano roll, and we can see there's no way that I played it that accurately, and everything's on the grid, quantized to the closest 16th note. Um, and you'll notice if I look in the piano roll, quantize it's it's sort of echoed what I selected in the inspector. Okay, the strength's 100, the swing's zero. Um, 
so that's something to keep in mind. If I was to highlight all these notes with Command A and then reduce the strength here, you see the notes are moving in the piano roll, just sort of coming off the grid a little bit. Um, that's not really reflected up here because here's your um, cue strength here and it's not showing anything. So you sort of have to keep in mind, you know, what you've done and where you've done it. Otherwise you can end up uh, getting a little bit confused. Well, I, do, I get confused all the time, so, you know, maybe it's just me, but I'm going to um, show you one little extra feature. Uh, so that, that's quantizing it as you record, and it's um, it's doing it the classic quantize, and it's moving everything to the closest 16th note. What you can do, if you want a little bit more of a human feel to your performance, uh, you can click on the word quantize in the inspector and select smart quantize. And I'm going to put it on uh, 16th notes again. And I'm going to record that similar kind of piece and see what happens, see what the differences are. Here we go. Played a double, I played a kick. Oops, I just press delete. Let it go. Command Z, get it back. So um, I played a kick there. Well, I shouldn't. I'll just take that kick out there. I played it by accident. So that was on smart quantize. And you'll notice down here in the in the piano roll, it has reflected smart. It says time quantize smart. So it's reflecting what's up here, and it's changed to sixteenth notes, and the strength has gone to fifty three, which I didn't set. It was on hundred before I started. Um, so let's just see how it quantized it. So there's really no difference at this point. Uh, but let me sh just show you something uh, that's kind of interesting. If I highlight these notes and go back to the inspector and select um, half notes, uh, it's not actually moving these to the half notes. It's keeping them on the 16th. In fact, this one here, it's uh, off the 16th a little bit, which is giving it a bit more of a human feel. Um, bearing in mind, I didn't set this strength to 53 here. So that's a bit of an oddity, but <coughs> it's smart quantizing it because it's thinking the computer's going, uh, well, there's no way these were half notes. He must have wanted 16ths, if he or she, you know, must have wanted 16ths. So I'm going to leave him on the closest 16th, and I'm even going to move some slight, slightly off the 16th. Um, if we zoom into this one here, you can see that's not exactly on the 16th either. And that's all because we chose Smart Quantize. Um, i zoom in a bit, and then Command A for all the notes. So even if I go to one notes, it's still not shifting everything to the closest one because it's thinking, well, that's... Doesn't, she doesn't want that, right? <laughs> he doesn't want that. Um, if, I, if I change that back to classic quantize uh, one notes, it's moved everything to the closest one note, right? So that's something to sort of keep in mind with the different types of quantize. Um, if you quantize while recording and use for drums, let's say you use smart quantize 16th notes, you are actually going to get a bit bit more of a, a human feel. Um, remember, quantize isn't always perfect, and you've always got to go through and check that the notes are actually where you want them. But um, using smart quantize might, you know, have it might prevent you or save you the time of having to sort of quantize it after and swing it or adjust the strength or something like that, because it sort of does it automatically a little bit while you're recording it. So that is a little bit about uh, recording, uh, quantizing MIDI while you're recording. I find it useful. Uh, I'm using a keyboard here. Usually I use a, uh, an electronic drum kit with a module. 
and I'm not a particularly good drummer, so it really helps me out a lot because um, I, I found that using smart quantize on 16th notes over a long period of time, you know, a minute or two of drumming, uh, you you actually do look at the notes and you'll go, oh yeah, they look they look pretty good there. They're not quite on the beat, which is like a real drummer, and uh, it's it's done a really good job of quantizing it. So I hope that helps you out with. Uh, you know, finding where the feature is, it's it's not hidden, it's right here, but it doesn't really talk about it in the manual. It, it What it talks about in the manual, if you re, if you type in record quantize or something like that, it talks about this feature here, which is the um, MIDI in uh, step record feature, which is a um, totally different thing. And perhaps I'll do a quick video on that, maybe next. So I hope this has helped you out. If you're trying to figure out uh, how to record your performance and quantize it while it's, while it's being recorded. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, hope you come back. If you've got any comments or questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.